The year began auspiciously for the Kansas City Symphony as cameras and microphones broadcast a concert to a national audience on the PBS network. Classical music in KC was back. People only remember that the Philharmonic folded five years before. So this is proof positive that not only is there an orchestra line, but it's a very good one. There were birthdays 100 years ago. Mr. and Mrs. Wilcox left their Topeka home for Los Angeles, where they bought 120 acres of land for $300 and called it Hollywood. Just 53 years ago, a voice came out of the Midwest and said, let there be a duck and let him boogie. Flashback's bar on the plaza celebrated Donald Duck's 53rd birthday in the summer in a big way with games and a cake. Never has a duck been so honored. Who let these guys in? Tibbetts, Witt, and Anschutz. They rehearsed in April for the Shower of Stars second annual benefit at the Folly. Words fail. Well, the glitz and glamour of theater is fine, sure enough. But more importantly, the big story in Kansas City was how theater growth was tied into the development of certain areas of the city itself. Down in the Garment District at 320 Southwest Boulevard, the Actors Ensemble Theater found its new home last summer. Informal dining and offbeat theater continue. And in the Quality Hill area at 10th and Central, the Theater League is now building a small theater for off-Broadway shows and musical cabaret. It's the first new downtown theater in 30 years. North of the Business District at the end of Wyandotte in the River Key, the New Directions Theater has relocated. Now there's entertainment for the expected population growth there. And here's what the Heartland Theater in Crown Center looked like a year ago. Then just two months later, the curtain went up on the first show, We Won't Pay, We Won't Pay. Saturday Night Live does weird stuff like that. Why shouldn't the Unicorn Theater do it? And the Unicorn Theater, relocated at 38th and Main, brought its world premiere of Doing the Reality Rag last summer to national attention on the CBS Sunday morning program. Most of the cast members were disabled. For my next Year's End Entertainment Report, I'll talk about some of the national stories and how they touched us locally here in Kansas City. For KCTV 5, I'm John Tibbetts.